boy here. Awesome. Kruger Ice. Ice. Oh, that's Kruger, Kruger Ice. Ice. Oh my goodness. I was, yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, he, he looks yeah. familiar. Jeremy. Anuna Chongo. Ram Diesel. Kruger Ice. Whoa. And drama by the Betty Dindo. Ben a tipita mopen. Uka Cachelo. All right, so hey guys, welcome back. Uh, so today I have Ram Diesel. I recently uh, reacted to two of Ram Diesel's songs. So, and we are we agreed to do an interview for you guys today. So, uh, without wasting any time, hey Ram Diesel, how's it going, man? Mozaka believe one day to buzz all of a Sunday to show the to shine to ship a pecanga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up? Where I am in the building. Yeah, Ram Diesel here. Awesome. <laughs> hey, that's good, man. Thank you so much for agreeing to do this. Uh, I really listened to your music and I enjoyed the the two songs that I've reacted to so far. They were so good. Uh, I just want to know how did you get into the music uh, business? Uh, what inspired you to be to become an artist? and uh to want to be an artist yeah so the inspiration behind my musically uh so like uh, you know whereby you come from a humble background whereby you know how it is in the street whereby we don't we lack uh, a motivational speaker to speak for us so yeah like I, I told myself like yo i just have to be someone who will be the voice to the people can speak for the people Oh. That's how, it, like, I told myself, like, let's get into it and uh, speak for the people as a musician. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love, I love that. I love that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but uh, how's the music business in in uh, in Zambia? I know you're gonna speak for yourself, but just give me like a uh, a picture of like uh, how 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 do you guys uh, survive in the music business? Is it like something that is profitable or you have to be there in the, for a long time to start like making money or something like that? Yeah, so how is it? Is it is uh, it's like uh, when you're an upcoming artist, it's always tough. So you have to push yourself to a certain point whereby you live at the top. Because music at the tender stage whereby like where I am right now, yeah, it is a bit challenging. It's a bit challenging. So I can say like for now, stuff, stuff, go. Yeah, yeah. So you just have to be like uh, to stay strong and uh, know how you're gonna push yourself to the top so that you can also start making little funds out of your music. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, otherwise, being an upcoming in Zambia, it's a bit challenging. So you just have to be ish, stay strong and uh, stay focused. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't awesome. have to to stop. You just have to keep going. Awesome, awesome. So it's yeah, tough. Yeah. It's tough in the business. Uh, so what are the key themes or uh, and ideas that inform your work? Like you already mentioned that you are from like the humble beginning. Uh, okay so like uh if you are if you you, you uh, for example oh okay let me put it in this way whereby uh, uh both my song Basi and Chidindo, yeah. these are songs which uh, motivates people Mm -hmm. So when I'm in the studio, I make sure, like, you know, I, I need to do something which will motivate someone out there to, to like, keep going and to, like, yeah, just believe in yourself and keep pushing because one day it will be, like, doors will open for you. So that's the, that's the type of music which I do. I, I, I motivate people. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, yeah. yeah. I like I, I listen to you, like your songs. I'm like, oh, I wish I knew what he is saying. Uh, so can you please describe for us like your creative process? Um, like from concept, like you already mentioned some of it, uh, uh, how you want to motivate people. But what what is that creative process look like? Do you have to go on the street and see somebody, and then you you thinking of a song, or how does that mm. go about? It's called on the feet. Ram Tizzo! K.I.D. Jeremy. You 
Yeah, so for me, I have people who I mingle around with. So when we're about to do a song, we go out in the street and see what's happening in the street so that we can know like, yo, this is what we are supposed to do. Like if we saw, if we see someone in the street struggling, we will take note of that and then put it in the song so that someone who is passing through the same problem can uh, can be can be motivated at the end. So when I'm doing music, the the the, the boy right here, yeah, is uh, is is more like uh, a mate in the music industry. So we do, I do go with him in the street. We see what's happening, and then after that, we come up with a concept and then yeah, speak for the people. That's. He already mentioned that it's it's uh it's tough and the music business is hard and, and yeah. like you have to like be consistent and all the stuff. But how do you stay inspired and uh, motivated to create new work? And uh, do you have like any routine or practices that help you stay focused and stuff like that? Uh, people like you, the time you reacted to my song, it yeah. gave me that motivation to say like, yo, I'm diesel. You just <laughs> have to keep going and stay focused and make bangers which uh, we will continue making people feel more comfortable with their life in, in, in the society out there. Awesome, awesome. Yeah. It was more like a big achievement uh, the time you reacted to my song. <laughs> I was more humble than the it's part of the the motivation key to me. Yes, I'm I'm also honored. Uh, I'm honored to be talking to you because, like, I I keep saying this. I I reacted to your song and I saw like one of the yeah. artists that I think I've seen in the music industry for a long time. Uh, you wanna tell us how did you get to work with uh, uh, like the artists that you worked with so far, especially Rough Kid? Uh, I think that you worked with. Uh, I think he's been in oh. the music industry for a while. Like, how do you, how do you connect with big artists like that? Yeah, so Rough Kid is more like a mentor to me. He's someone who believed in me, and uh, told me like, "You're young, let's get to work." So he's someone, he's more like a mentor. He's been in the game for so long. So me doing a song with him, it was more like a dream come through. Yeah. Because he, mot he, he motivates me and he inspires me a lot. So awesome. it's more like a, a mentor to me. And uh, the main reason why I had to associate with him is because you know what they say, like nothing beats uh, a true talent. So true. so yeah. our talents, me and my boy here, the big man was like, yo, I'm Jesus. Let's get to work and uh, help each other. Because he's been in the game for so long. So true. him helping me and the boy is more like a blessing to me. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, I can only imagine. Uh, which artist do you uh, like most influenced by uh, so far? Like, who's the artist uh, that you look up to? Yeah, so, so like, uh, for me, I do listen to uh, Zambian music and uh, SM music. So, like, yeah, I get inspiration to through many artists. For example, in SM, yeah. Uh, the most uh, influential artist to me in SA is MET because yeah. I like his works. Yeah, yeah. When we come in Zambia, yeah, the list is countless. <laughs> we have many talents here in Zambia. That's true. That's true. Uh, so who are who are the artists that you're looking forward to working with, uh, especially in the Zambian music industry? Uh, in the Zambian music industry, uh, I would like to work with uh, Shrub D. J Cash, Chef yeah. One Eight Seven, yeah, yeah, and the list is endless. The list is endless. so much talent in Zambia. <laughs> yeah, so much talent. There's so much talent. Uh, I'm surprised you didn't yeah. mention Mikey Tews. Uh, but uh, it's cool. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Mikey Two is also a godfather in Zambia. Yeah, because if yeah, uh, if uh, I skipped him, eh, I would have missed my blessings. He's also a godfather. A big shout out to Mikey Two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 
It's crowd on the beat. Jeremy. Anuna Chongo. Ram Diesel. Fuga Eyes. Okay, so for me, I would say like putting out good work and good music, that's more like a key to, to, to the same question which you have asked, is how you, you promote yourself at the end. So you just have to like mm, do a good song, put it out for people to listen. Yeah, and then they'll let it out. And then at the end, it keeps you, it keeps you moving, yeah. Yeah, awesome, awesome. Uh, so what uh, is an advice you'd give like an aspiring artist like you coming up as well, uh, looking at the world we live in today? So what are those key things? You, I know you've been saying them throughout this whole interview. So is there any other yes. advice you can give to an artist, who's an upcoming artist as well? Uh, my advice uh, I wish I can give to my fellow upcoming artists is that uh, you just have to be who you are. You don't have to be like, you know how music it is, is when um, when you're an upcoming, you don't have to sound like a big artist. You just have to be who you are, stay focused, put in hard work because it is, if you don't put hard work, then uh, in Zambia we send me to know where you're going. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so you just have to be focused and keep pushing because awesome. uh, one day it will make sense somehow, somewhere. Awesome. Uh, the other thing that uh, like yes. we did when we started, when I started this uh, YouTube channel was to make sure that the music industry in Southern Africa, uh, those artists are working together. Is there anybody, I know you mentioned MT from South Africa. Uh, yeah, what, yeah. what is the future like looking at uh, collaborations that are not like in zambia specifically yeah 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 uh, I'm, I'm 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 very open to work with any artist from southern yeah nothing okay yeah in short like, if i had the chance to work with any artist even from Botswana, yeah most definitely i would work with with him or her without any without any grudge or any disturbance with have yeah, queer face straight, awesome. working with them without yeah. any misunderstanding. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, 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 it is. Uh, so for me, I would say like, yeah, the industry is, is improving each and every day, but uh, you know how it is, if you don't have, if you don't have proper connection, it's yeah. hard, but you it's just hard. have to keep pushing, yeah. yeah. So for me, yeah, Zambia music is elevating every day. Awesome. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, Ram Dizo, thank you so much for doing this interview. Do you have any other last words you want to say to uh, people who might be watching this interview? Yeah, so far we are working on a, on a joint, more like a joint EP with him. Yeah. So we have a lot of songs coming up. So yeah, l- let me put it in this way, like we have a song with White Celeb. So this is more like announcement to the to my people who follow my music. Awesome. There's a new song coming out with White Celeb. Who is, oh, who is more like a big influencer in Zambia here. Yeah, yeah, it, it, uh, it has been a pleasure. A big shout out to you. Thanks for believing in Southern Africa. Thanks for having us. Yeah, it's a blessing you, uh, you giving us this opportunity or this platform. May God bless you. Big Thank shout you. out to you. Thank you. Thank you.